Uh, as you know, tonight the President uh, will deliver his first primetime address to the American people at 8 p.m. Today marks the one-year anniversary of the shutdown due to COVID-19, and the President will speak directly to the American people about the sacrifices made from the more than 500,000 lives lost to the millions of people who are lost, have lost their jobs and the even millions more who have been impacted by the pandemic. He'll provide an update on the work of his team to address the greatest operational challenge the country has faced and the work his team has done to rapidly increase the number of vaccinations, vaccines, vaccination, vaccinators, and vaccination sites. And he will lay out the next steps he will take to get the pandemic under control. Even while he has focused on getting the American Rescue Plan across the finish line, he has been reviewing drafts of the speech. Uh, last week he was, and of course through the course of this week, and making line edits. Uh, he's been uh, uh, providing line edits in, in order to ensure that he is striking the right tone and providing the right level of clarity uh, as he prepares to address the country this evening. He plans to provide a clear outline of his approach level with the American people about what is required of them, but also provide a sense of hope of what is possible. Since the Treasury Department, Department of Treasury and the IRS are working hard to get relief payments out the door as fast as possible to the American people, uh, people can expect to uh, start seeing direct deposits uh, hit their bank accounts as early as this weekend. This is, of course, just the first wave, uh, but uh, some people will start, some people in the country will start seeing those, uh, in those direct deposits in their bank accounts this weekend, and payments to eligible Americans will continue throughout the course of the next several weeks. You have some Republican senators who did not vote for this bill now touting parts of it. What is President Biden's response to those Republicans like Senator Wicker? Well, we invite them to work with us on the agenda moving forward because clearly the bill that the president just signed into law is something that the American people are excited about, that uh, people will benefit from as soon as this weekend as we conveyed. And uh, we are hopeful that as the president talks about his Build Back Better agenda, has more meetings with members of Congress, we'll have uh, more people on board from both sides of the aisle.